it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Again, they'll throw with Murray. He's going to have the first down and then some. And they will have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Play fake, Murray. Dancing to his left. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. First down. Gronk so tough to cover. Sometimes the flag is going to come out. His size and his ability create a lot of these pass interference calls. If you're trying to go through him to get to the ball, that's almost impossible, and he benefits on the play. A final shot before half for Murray. And he's going to go down. So they pass up the field goal attempt to go for six, but as a result, they leave points on the field, and that's going to do it for this first half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. He's got a man complete! A big play here for Dallas. And even 40 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Murray now on first down. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Washington defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And Murray's going to keep this. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Kyler Murray. Keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Now the extra point try forthcoming. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. 
Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. That's complete to Sharp. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Here's Bowden. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And they're going to speed things up here. Back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. right now because luckily like him is going to haunt my dreams too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. On play action, they'll throw. And they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Commanders went for it, but they cannot pick up the first. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. First down, Murray. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Murray now running right on the option. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still... With his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Paul, but a little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Washington. And Washington has taken the lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 
Henry again on second down. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Again, it's Henry. 85 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Henry running right. He'll get it up near midfield at 49 before being taken down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and eight. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's got it across the midfield, striking into Washington territory. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. From the gun, Murray. throw there and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I got the coverage we just saw break out on third down. Dime defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now Murray's got to have this one. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gets him the first down yardage there. Murray going to throw. Going for the deep ball. Touchdown! Calvin Johnson, 39 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. And this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as so he'll get this up to the 29. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. He'll drop to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that's another throw that could have been intercepted. Part of this, you credit the defense. They've been really stingy. But he's also made some really questionable throws. And that's another one right there. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And here have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. And quickly they get to the line. They'll run with Bud. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They'll come up now. Second and nine. They're going to look to throw. Open man right side of Smith-Schuster complete. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Back to throw here. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The defense gets to the quarterback that quickly. A lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and forced an incompletion. Toward the pylon caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line.
This is third and goal. They'll look to throw again. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Commanders answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Important extra point up and through. And they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. And he will take this one all the way back inside the 35-yard line. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. But they got it with that big return. This is caught. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts and tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Well, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. This is first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Plenty of time, and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. This is Barton. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. On second down, here's Henry. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage? If they do pop one, it's going to go away. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And I know they would have loved to have had a touchdown there to give him some cushion. But now, kick the field goal. Get the lead. Let your defense bring you home. Show some faith in those guys on the other side of the ball. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. But hard to catch a breath. Another big play looming. Fourth and three. They'll set up to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Back to throw. Murray. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. A partner of a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. To throw is Murray. That'll be caught by Hill. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. This 
offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Henry up the middle. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Another try, second and ten now. And they're able to stop it here on the spike with three seconds remaining. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. Somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.